Despite not having control over the Orleans Parish Communications District's policies, the New Orleans City Council is reminding OPCD leaders that the council sets the budget. As Chris Welty reports, some council members want to see a major overhaul at OPCD before approving money for 2024. When you need help, these are the first people you talk to. And you're calling because you need help right now. You need assistance right now. And we need to make sure that from call taking to response, it all goes right. Orleans City Council Vice President Helena Moreno is one of four city council members leading the charge to institute change at the Orleans Parish Communications District, or OPCD, before approving the department's 2024 budget. Moreno believes protocols must be revamped to keep people safe, noting the interim director, Carl Fasold, is now in charge. You are the director now. You are the one who can make the changes to right this shift. A Lee Zurich investigation detailed changes in the 911 call system, which city leaders say led to some calls not getting the immediate response they deserve. For more than an hour, the city council questioned Fasold about how calls are labeled, particularly for domestic dispute, domestic violence, and sexual assault incidents. Council President J.P. Morrell is concerned that OPCD is functioning more as a call center than as first responders. The fact that there's no protocol to call that person back or call people back who've experienced that level of trauma to reassure them someone's checking on them to make sure it went to a final resolution. If you're not doing that follow up, you're a call center. The council frustrated with the priority labeling and coding of 911 calls, saying the current policies at OPCD have cost lives. Most recently, the communications district has been scrutinized for the America Street fire response in which three kids died. Despite the children's mom calling 911, saying the father of her three kids was threatening to burn down their New Orleans East home, the call was labeled as a domestic dispute and it took 20 minutes for NOPD to be dispatched. This could put people's lives in danger, the type of policies that you have put in place, and no one cared to do anything about it. And unfortunately, I do believe that some people's lives may have been lost because of it. But like I said, you know, Director Fassold and Chief Thomas, like they are making corrections. And going through priority dispatch, you have identified it's domestic. Has violence occurred? The answer to that was no at that point. Nothing, no violence that actually occurred. There's a question about threats. That changes the determinant code. Yes, there were threats. We don't attempt to determine if it's a credible threat because we obviously don't know, but the fact that threats were made. That determinant code mapped to domestic dispute. It doesn't now, and it won't in the future, but that's all I can tell you. OPCD maintains changes will come, but they will not happen immediately. The communications district is planning to revert back to the old NOPD signal codes and implement some new ones. During his budget presentation, Carl Fassel noted that his department needs more employees and more funding for retention. His 2024 budget only increased by 10% far from the 28% recommended by his consultants. The city council wants Fassel to rework his budget so OPCD can better serve Orleans Parish.